Hello everyone, in this video I will explain how you can connect to SQL Server on your computer, using Python and access data with SQL queries. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us. Before connecting to the database with Python, I will create a few objects in the SQL Server database. Then we will learn how to connect to SQL Server database with Python. I click the connect button to connect to the server. We can see the current database names from the database tab. I haven't created a database yet. I click the new query button to create the database. I can create a database with a simple create command. I click the refresh button to see the newly created databases. The newly created database has been added. In the table tab, I can see the tables in the database. I haven't created a table yet. I will create a table with a simple create command. I'm commenting out the create database command. I'm setting which database the create table command will run on. I specify the table name and columns. Also, each column must have a data type. Therefore, I also specify data types. I set the order ID column as small int and the order name column as character data type. When the refresh button is pressed, the table created appears on the screen. You can also access the columns of the table from the panel. I'm converting the create table command to a comment line. Now let's add some records into the table. I am using the insert into command. I'm sending two values by columns to the values function. I will repeat this process several times. I am changing the values. After running the SQL codes, the data was added to the table. I browse the data in the table with select. In this section, we create a database and table in SQL Server. Then we added some data and checked it with the select command. Now let's take a look at how we can connect to the SQL Server database with Python. We will connect to SQL Server using the ODBC library in Python. I start the library transfer process with pip install pyodbc in the terminal section. I am importing the library. I will create a few variables for the connection. First, I set the driver name variable to SQL Server. I need the server name. I can find this out by using server name function in SQL Server database. I am copying the server name. Then I synchronize it with the variable. I synchronize the database name I created with the variable. I need a connection text. I will use the variables I created in the connection text. I specify the driver, server, and database name. I am using this string in connect function. I can print it with print to see if the connection was successful.
We have successfully connected to SQL Server. Now let's learn how we can pull the data. I need a memory space. I can do this using the cursor function. I am sending the SQL command to the execute function. Now I need to read the data. I am saving the data to row variable with fetch1 function. I will then display the data on the screen using a while loop. The data was displayed on the console screen. We can use all SQL commands in the execute function. For example, let's create in SQL using where conditions. Data with order ID value of 3 was displayed on the console screen.